I just celebrated my 10th birthday on vacation at my grandmother's. But things aren't going very well. Davido, an awful heartless developer, wants to kick my grandmother out and take her house in her yard, tear it all down and build some concrete buildings. He says my grandfather has to sign a new lease and give him a huge amount of money within 48 hours or else it belongs to him. The problem is, my grandfather disappeared without a trace four years ago, and my grandmother has no money left. But I'm not going to stay here twiddling my thumbs for 48 hours waiting for that vulture to steal our house. My grandmother told me about these strange little people called Minimoys. They're tiny creatures and my grandfather tried to meet them. She also told me about a treasure that the Bogomatisali warriors gave my grandfather on one of his trips to Africa. My grandfather hid the treasure in the yard, but he hid it so well that he could never find it again. Well, I'm going to find the treasure. That way I'll be able to pay Davido and we'll be able to keep our house and yard. My dear Arthur, I was sure I could count on you to find my riddle. If you're reading this, I am probably dead. Therefore, the heavy task of accomplishing my mission now falls to you. If you accept it, that is. I accept, Grandpa. We are going to join our brothers, the mini boys. Welcome to the land of the Minimoys. I know you must feel strange, but don't worry. You'll just need to relearn a few things. Listen carefully. To move around, use the main direction controls. Follow me. You'll see. It's really easy. Job. To control the camera, hold the special action button and use the main direction controls. That's so you can look all around you. Go ahead, try to follow the two glowing orbs with the camera. Follow me, it's this way. This way, to the right, hurry! To jump, simply press the jump button once. Go ahead, jump. Come on, join me. It's not very high. Good! But do you know how to do a double jump? Up, up. See that? It's really easy. Just press the jump button twice. Your turn. Very good. Now do one more double jump, but this time make it a running jump. Take your time before you press the jump button the second time. Try to follow this rhythm. When I say one, jump. When I say two, jump again. Pay attention. Are you ready? One, and not bad, but you can do better. Don't forget, take your time to do a double jump over a distance. You'll jump further. Do a third and last double jump. Be very careful. There's a big, very, very deep hole underneath. If you fall in, the adventure will be over. Go ahead, it's your turn. See that door? See that flagstone? Step on the flagstone to open the door. You'll see, Arthur. A flagstone can activate many things. To activate a flagstone correctly, stay on it for a little while. And there you go. The door opens. Follow me. It's this way. Oh, they look like soda balls. What? Balls? Those aren't balls. They are pollen globes. When you touch them, they begin to shrink. And after a while, poof, they disappear.
This strange object is a bar with its counterweight. Like the flagstone, it can be used to activate many things. Go ahead, grab the bar and hang on to open the door just behind it. Stand right under the horizontal bar, where there is a white circle drawn on the ground, and press the jump button to jump and grab on. It's a good mechanism, but since mini boys don't weigh much, the counterweight takes some time to go up and activate. If you press the action button several times, the counterweight will go up much faster. Great job! Don't take this the wrong way, but when you're hanging there, you look a little like a moof moof. <laughs> Come on, it's this way. Arthur, I'm here! No, Arthur, not this way. Go back and walk to the right of the blade of grass. There are two flagstones. I wonder why. Wonder why? <laughs> to open the door. One isn't enough? Not always. Sometimes even three or four flagstones need to be activated at once to open a door. Sometimes these flagstones are hidden. Then you have to find them all and that's not easy. Go on, stand on one of the two flagstones and I'll stand on the other. There, let's keep going. Great kick. No pollen! You can kick the pollen by pressing on the action button or the special action button. To shoot horizontally, press the action button. To shoot vertically, press the special action button. Follow me, it's this way. See this huge block? You have to push it to be able to go any further. It's easy. Stand in front of the block and keep the action button pressed. Then you just push in a direction, like when you're walking. And since too many moys are stronger than one, I'm gonna help you. Don't forget to keep the action button pressed. And go on, you have to let go. Release the action button. We have to reach the bar up there. Come on, follow me. I'll show you. There are the orange flagstones. They are special. You have to stay on them to keep the door open. There are two flagstones. Together, we can keep the door open. But then, how will we get through the door? I know. Please, go get that block so we can put it on the flagstone in your place. That way you can go through the door and get the other block. Okay. To take hold of the block, stand in front of it and keep the action button pressed. Careful, when you release the action button, you let go of the block. Yeah! Good, now go through the door. When you get to the second block up there, push it down below. Now, last step. You must stack the blocks and climb onto them to reach the bar. Did you notice the two marks on this sign? They mean that you have to stack two blocks, one on top of the other, in this spot. Would you please bring a block to the first mark? Now, go get the other block. We'll lift it together on top of this one. The 
arrow over the block means that you can lift it and stack it on top of the other block. To lift it, press the action button several times. Keep it up, I'm coming to help you. Now all you have to do is climb onto the two blocks. And great, Arthur, congratulations! Quick, grab the bar! We've hung around here long enough. Follow me, quick! The council's expecting us. This is an odd symbol. What is it? It's a mini moi rune. Fantastic. Did you know that only heroes can awaken their power? Hey, why don't you try? Me? Yes. The only human who ever tried to find the runes was your grandfather. Why not try it too? There are 26 runes in all. Every time you find a new rune, you'll get a magic card. There are 26 cards in all to collect. One card for each letter of the alphabet. Uh, what do I do now? Go close to the rune and press the action button. You'll see the twinkling gets brighter. That means the rune is awakened. You awaken the rune and unlock the first card. It's easy to look at the cards that you've unlocked. I'll show you. The menu will appear. Using main direction controls, select extra. It's easy. The word is highlighted when there is something new to look at. Then, again using main direction controls, select mini moi card. And presto, you have access to the card menu. They're all shown as thumbnails right there. All the cards that you've unlocked are highlighted. Right now, there's only one. Use main direction controls to select it. Then press validation. Ta-da! The card turns over. Look! The treasure. As a token of gratitude for his honesty and his noble-mindedness, the Bogomatasalai warriors offered Archibald Arthur's grandfather, a collection of rubies, each bigger and more flawless than the next. Unfortunately, this treasure was lost, and no one has ever been able to find it. Although Arthur secretly set out to find his grandfather, he would also like to find the treasure, which would allow his grandparents to keep their house. But who knows if this treasure is not gone forever, or if it's nothing more than a legend. It's this way! Arthur, look! A combat training dummy! Do you know how to defend yourself? Go on, <laughs> show me! Hit it by pressing the action button! Wow, what a punch! You can defend yourself just fine! It's beautiful, isn't it? It's a save flower! Just go on it to save your game. It's easy. Most of the time, there needs to be three of us to activate one. But it sometimes works with only two, or even just one. But that's unusual. This one works with two. Do you want to try? Go on, you do the honors. I'll be right behind you. 